Hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL and this is Battletech. Battletech is the mech fighting game that you've probably heard of. And I say probably heard of because it's not the first mech fightery game. And if you're a fan of mech fightery games, you've probably heard of all of them. Um, but this is uh, the one from Harebrained Schemes and it's published by Paradox Interactive. It was released on the 24th of April 2018. But the Linux beta seems to have turned up mid-September. I, I didn't follow it hugely closely, so I don't know if that's accurate or not. But yeah, either way, right now you can play it. When you, If you purchase the game, it will install about a gig and when you hit play, it'll, have, it'll say no executable. But if you right click on the game, go to properties and then select the tab for Steam for betas and things, you can opt into the beta. It'll download an additional eight gigabyte and then you'll be able to hit play. Now, for the last week, I haven't been able to play this. I've had this sitting in my library for over a week now. And every time I hit play, I got a black screen and then the game exited. And I went on the forums. I went on, I even like, like tapped other people up in other Discord channels trying to see if anyone knew how to fix this. And yeah, I had weird, the only error was it was complaining about SDL2, but that was obviously working on my system and there was one in the folder. So I have no idea what was causing the error. Um, then I had an NVIDIA update and now it works. So something <laughs> something to do with my NVIDIA drivers have changed. And I'm not running beats. I run the standard NVIDIA drivers for, to maintain high compatibility. Uh, and yeah, it's it's fine now. So I played it this morning. I've played a couple of hours, about three hours um, and this morning. And that is why I'm saying this is a very cursory look at the game. This is not a final thoughts or anything. This is just a cursory first impressions. So what were my first impressions? Let's start with the bad things. It takes ages to load. Like, it, apparently it loads loads faster than Windows and Linux, but it still takes ages to load. Uh, graphically, it's a bit weird. It has like a weird shimmer to it when it's in motion. And I think it's an intentional artistic style. It wasn't as noticeable when motion blur was on because of the smoothing. But once I turned motion blur off, it looked like, I don't know, like it was dithering. Or it looked very odd. It looked very odd, like like mottled effect to the, some of the graphics in motion. But that said kind of started to like that after a while started going oh it's all right actually you know it kind of like has a unique grounded look to it grounded with joint mix um performance wise goes up and down um as soon as i load obs i, like, I lose like 20 frames which is really weird um because usually obs doesn't make a massive impact um it seems like it does it seems like i'm always mentioning obs but i always mention it if it's a problem because it's so rare, but then that means that I, whenever I talk about OBS, I'm, I'm insulting it. OBS is great, we should insult OBS. But yeah, every time, I, every time I start recording it, I lose a fairly substantial amount of frames a second. Um, then there's the, the actual frame rate itself. Uh, if there's lots happening, if there's lots happening, it'll be low, and if nothing happening, it'll be high, which is not a shock. But there seems to be like no baseline for it, really. And I, I'm very early in the game, so I'm assuming at some point I'm gonna be facing a hell of a lot of mechs. And when that happens, I wonder if my frame rate's gonna tank. That said, it's in beta. There's going to be patches, performance patches. I have no doubt this is going to get better. Uh, positives. I love the look of it. I love, I, I, even though the, even the weird model stuff, I actually really like the way it looks. It's sort of brutal and grim, but at the same time, it's fucking mechs and they're amazing. <laughs> you get a real sense of scale, which I really like. Uh, the next thing I like about it is the characterization. It's got a story it's trying to tell, and it's talking about empires and periphery space and, 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 and lineage and the royal family, and then it's talking about spaceships, and there's miners, and it's got this, it bounces from all the stuff I like about the Star Traders, where they're talking, you know, where you've got this empire of the stars and stuff going on, um, and then it goes right down to like, you know, these are the people who are hiring me to shoot stuff. Um, I like the contrast in that, the, the, you know, between high and low end of, of what's happening in space. I, mean, I like, I enjoy it, I think it's well put together, really, really kind of hooked me in the story, as I'm, I'm interested. And then, uh, the other thing I like is the combat. In this game, it's not like XCOM where I just I find a position that works. And not only do I have to find a position, I have to find an orientation because there's this cone and that's the front, the, the mech's frontal attack. So you have to position your body so that you're facing the enemy because if they're outside of your cone, they're essentially invisible. Like you can't do anything to them. Um, if cars, cars, what am I saying cars for? If targets like, um, like tanks or even mechs go out of your uh, out of your visual range you get a little like i don't know like a little blocky figure like pixely figure that represents their last known coordinates or sensor updates you get this like beep 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 and you're like this shadow of where they might or might not be um obviously you can upgrade bits of your mechs to make that more accurate um, but it gives you a real sense of tactility tactility tactile no and t tacticalness is probably the when I'm looking, I don't know what it, is. it gives you a real sense of that anyway. It gives you a real sense of of being on a battlefield and having to deal with shit that you'd have to deal with, which I really like. Um, 
being mechs, we have to take into consideration their heat. We have to take terrain into account. Um, you can get individual weapon parts blown off. Like, you can actually have, like, a gun blown off, and then you can't use that gun anymore. Which is fucking nuts. I mean, like, it's just insane. Uh, it, it, that means that you can, like, you can have a mech with no weapons and just use it to ram shit, which is what I was doing today. And that is great. It's just it just adds layers on top of uh, of the tactical stuff I'm used to with XCOM, and I've, I've played a lot of XCOM now. So I'm, you know, it, to have all these extra to have all these extra stuff laid on top is awesome. Um, I'm I'm pretty sold on the game to be honest. Uh, I think if I'm being objective, the things that might put people off is maybe it's perhaps it's too technical. Perhaps like the the fact you have to take in positioning and temperature and power and ammo and you have to take into account all these individual things. I could see it putting a lot of people off. Um, I could see it becoming like it's a bit too simmy and not enough gamey. Maybe like need to make it a bit more arcade. Uh, I can totally see that as a fair criticism of the game, and I think that you probably know yourself if you'll enjoy the extra layer of stuff on top of it um but the terrains i've seen so far have been quite different i've seen desert and i've seen uh, jungle which are quite stark contrasts and uh both of them look wonderful and in the desert you have to take into account cover of the trees only in the jungle you have to take into account cover of the trees where in the desert they've got the rocks and things you can use as cover so yeah i i feel like it's a really well put together game um it is £34.99, um, which is not ridiculous. Now, my queue is provided by the developer, but uh, it's £34.99 for a game. This doesn't seem over the top. And as we know with games published by Paradox, I'm not so much, you know, more developed, but games published by Paradox tend to have a long-term support to them, and they tend to have, a, a you know, a lot of life in them. Um, and this one seems no different, even though it's developed by Hairbrain Studios. It does seem like, I mean, they're already planning a Battletech Flashpoint DLC for later in the year. Um, we've already got the Deluxe Content DLC you can add to the game for £10.29. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on with it. Um, and Paradox games always get loads of DLC. I'm, it's weird, because with a lot of other games, I'm like, oh, this game's got so much DLC, and I get DLC fatigue. But with Paradox DLC... I find that it just they just add cool shit to the game for a reasonable price. And I find myself going, oh, it's fair. You know, <laughs> I actually like, find myself going, oh, I'll pick that up, yeah. Um, when most companies, I just ignore the DLC. So, yeah, it's a weird thing to say. Anyway, I'm babbling now. Uh, Battletech, I really liked it. I really like it, is the honest thing. I'm going to stream a lot of it, and hopefully, when I get to the end or, you know, three quarters away through the campaign, I'll do another video, and I'll give you guys some more thoughts. Um, and as well, we'll do a little update on performance once we get a few more patches out as well. Um, but requirements for this game is uh, there's no specific Linux requirements, obviously, because it's still in beta and it's not released. But for Windows, it's 64 bit, uh, 8 gig of RAM, and a GeForce 560 Ti or AMD Radeon uh, 87 or what, 5870. Wow, I've just realized that says AMD slash ATI Radeon. That's weird. Wow. Yeah, I can't imagine this runs particularly well on low end machines. Or well, maybe that's just a Linux thing. Who knows? But uh, it wants an i5. Uh, it's recommended an i5 with 16 gig of RAM, and it recommends a GTX 670, so it's more reasonable. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop babbling now. I'm going to go carry on playing Battletech. Thanks for watching. I've been Hex. If you like what I do, you can support me on Patreon if you'd like to, um, or you can come watch me stream, or you can check out the podcast we do over at xpenguin.club, which also goes out on Twitch and YouTube as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye!